Hey everyone, my name is Taylor Stein, Fusion 360 Evangelist, and today we're going to be creating a really powerful and robust 3D model using circular patterns and some user-created parameters. And this allows us to really just tweak a few values that really drive our entire design. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a cylinder. So under Create, I'll choose Cylinder, and I'll place it on this bottom plane right here, and I'll specify the diameter to be 65 millimeters. Next, I'll set the height equal to 20. The next thing I want to do is create a sketch. And I want to sketch on this top face of our recently created cylinder. And now I'll look at it from the top view. I'll draw a line from my center that goes straight up at 90 degrees. And then I'll select that line, right click, and choose normal slash construction to turn it into a construction line. Now I want to draw some circles where this line intersects our uh, top profile. So under the sketch menu in circle, I can choose center diameter circle. And I'll draw one at this intersection at 10 millimeters. And I'll go ahead and draw another one at six millimeters. I'll stop my sketch and I'll view my profile from the home view. Next under create, I'll choose Extrude, and I'll extrude my smaller profile down, about 10 millimeters. I'll turn my sketch back on, and I'll go ahead and extrude the other profile down, 6 millimeters. So there you have it. There's our single extrusion uh, on the side of this profile. And what we really want is we want to pattern those two extrusions all the way around this top profile of our cylinder. So to do that, under the Create menu, and in Pattern, I'll choose Circular Pattern. And you'll see I have some options for the objects that I can pattern. I can pattern faces, bodies, or even features. So in this case, I'll choose Features, and I'll select our two extrusions. And I'll pattern them around this profile right here. And by default, it'll create three of them. Now to change all these parameters and really drive it, under the Modify menu, I can choose Change Parameters. And now I can start tying some user parameters into these expressions that we have here. So I'll create one for my outer diameter, and I'll set that equal to 10. I'll create another one for my inner diameter, and I'll set that equal to 6. And how about my two depths? So I'll call it Depth 1. I'll set that equal to 6. And Depth 2 equal to 10. So now that I have some of my variables here, I can now assign these to these expressions above. So for example, our first sketch right here of 10 millimeters and 6, I can set this diameter, instead of being equal to the value 10, I can set it equal to the variable DO. And I can do the same thing for the inner diameter here. So now if I change any of these parameters down here, the expression changes as well as does the model. So I'll change this back to 6, and I'll go ahead and assign these two depths equal to my other extrusions. So my extrusion here, I'll set it equal to negative depth 2, and I'll set this one equal to negative depth 1. So again, if I change these values here, my model changes as does the expression. Now you'll see that also, right here in this pattern, I have my C pattern 1, and for the count, I have it equal to 3. Just as the same as before, I can create my own variable. We'll call it count. I'll set it to have no units. And let's set it equal to 8. Now I can set my count in my pattern from 3 to my variable count. And now it updates. Now the last thing that we want to do is I want to go back and I want to add a chamfer to one of these edges. So under modify, I'll choose chamfer. And I want to chamfer this edge, and we'll bring it down just a few millimeters. Now I want to pattern this around and have it chamfer every single edge here, and I don't want to do that by hand. So I'll go back and I'll create another circular pattern. I'll again select Pattern Features, and I want to pattern this feature around this axis. And for the quantity, I don't want three. What I actually want is my variable count. So I'll set it equal to count, click OK, and you'll see that it updates. So now finally, if I go back to my parameters, 
under modify, change parameters. I have all these user parameters, I just have five, and those really drive every single thing in this model. I can change the count up to 12, you'll see that it updates, and it properly chamfers every edge that we have there. So now I'm free to play around with these values to find the design that I want, uh, without having to roll back in the timeline and change them by hand, I can just play right here in this menu. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can reach me on Twitter at Taylor underscore Stein. Thanks for watching.